Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how you can make these easy little gathered butterflies with just a tiny little scrap of fabric. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is, and I just creased this in half and, and did that so that I would have a line to follow. You're just going to take a needle and thread, and you're just going to run a little gathering stitch down the center of this piece of fabric, like that. And pull it through. Just pinch it on one side. You can just wrap the thread around the body section a few times like that it looks, it looks like a little bow or a little butterfly and then you're just going to take a few stitches to secure that just take a couple of stitches here if you just want to leave it plain with the thread as the body that's fine you can do that I'm going to sew this bead. So I'm just going to place the bead on the thread and I'm just going to take a few stitches on the back just to make sure it's good and sturdy and secure. Like that. And so I have gone ahead and I have curled a piece of wire as antenna and then I can sew and you could hot glue this as well, but now I can sew this antenna on the back of the butterfly. Like that. And then I can just cut my thread off. And that's how the little butterfly looks. And it's good to go. Or I'm going to show you how you can just change the edge of the wings. I use 20 gauge wire for the antenna, but if you don't have wire, you could just use paper clips. To add detail to the wings, you could use a gold marker or a colored marker. And today I'm just going to use a black marker. Place your butterfly over a piece of paper. I would normally be using newspaper, but to keep it the background smooth and simple for you, just going to use a piece of computer paper. I have my black marker and I'm just going to go along the edge and I'm just going to make some little lines like this. Like that. And I'll do the other side as well. Like that. And to keep the edges from fraying, you just take some clear nail polish and just paint the edges of the fabric so that it won't fray. And that's how easy it is to make some cute little lacy butterflies to embellish your scrapbooking or for headbands or baby items, whatever you want to use them for. And if you wanted to, you can also add a few little dots on your butterfly. Add a dot here. Maybe three dots here. Like that. And maybe a few here. Like that. 